Welcome back to my channel. It is Mother's Day, uh, running late, a little chaotic, but here we are. And if you want to see how I got this pretty, dewy, easy, moisturized skin looking look, then keep watching. It's Mother's Day and I'm running a little late, but I wanted to get my video done beforehand. So let's quickly just do an easy, pretty makeup look. Um, I'm going to actually go tight line my lashes real quick and I'll be right back. I've been using the brown one size liner to tight line and it's a little less harsh. I'm not crazy about it, but I keep on trying thinking that it's going to <laughs> suddenly love it. But it's lighter, definitely lighter. And we're just having brunch today for Mother's Day with my grandmother and my sister and my husband and her boyfriend and my grandmother's boyfriend. So just a nice little brunch. So not going to wear anything too heavy. I'm putting the, what is this? Embryolise Creme Le Concentrate, some kind of moisturizer, which I'm starting to like and I didn't like it at first, but I just need to add hydration constantly or my makeup will just not sit very well so that helps i put a little elf primer on my lids and i'm just going to do something very very light on my eyelids just something easy and pretty i have this kind of shimmery nude color by mac i'm just gonna put that all over my lid probably won't be able to even see it on camera just kind of set the lid a bit i'm still in my pajamas i didn't even get dressed yet or put jewelry on or anything i just kept on sleeping because you know i'm a mother too <laughs> of my buddy boy so i wanted to sleep in a bit but i wanted to do this video before I left so I could you know edit it later then I'm going to take this what is this color by Mac I would love to tell you but every time I use a Mac product lately it's been discontinued I can't take the back off but it's just a light crease color and I'm just gonna put that right in the crease just for some dimension nothing crazy Yeah, you can see that it just makes the eye look a little bit finished. And this little small brush by Makeup Shack. Makeup Shack makes really great inexpensive brushes. And it's just really fluffy, but skinny. So it's really easy to maneuver in that crease if you want a little bit more definition. I'm going to take the Luxury Palette um, Color Coded Eyeshadows in Green Lights by Charlotte Tilbury and I'm just going to take which one? A little bit of this like shimmery green on my finger. Just a little bit on the lid. Just for some color. A little springy green I guess. Yeah, you can see it's just not as intense with the brown. I wish that um, one size shadow was just a little richer in color and then it'd be perfect. If it was just super dark brown, it would be amazing. And then I'm gonna take, oh, I am, see, just a mess today. Kitten by Stila, which is one of the best like highlighter colors ever. I'm just gonna take that same crease brush again. I'm just going to do a little bit on the inner corner, almost melting into that green just a little bit. Just to have some pretty fresh eyes. Brown liner again, just to do a little tiny bit of definition, a little baby wing. So this is a very light eye for me. I 
you can see I also need to tint my lashes. Since I've been using the Grande Lash, and I don't know if it's my lashes are falling out faster, or I don't, I don't know, or it's just eating at the dye faster, I need to, I'm trying to focus, there we go, tint them way more often, which is annoying me, but you gotta, you gotta pick your battles. I'm also gonna take a dark brown shadow. This is Give a Glam Powder Kiss by MAC, which is actually still around, which is nice. And let me find, oh yes, this Timu brush I really like for liner. Just so it's not as stark and I can kind of buff it out a little bit. Yeah, it's just prettier, softer looking. I'm going to use a shadow. But if you use the liner first, it kind of gives you a, like a guide. And it makes the color a little deeper. See, just a little pretty done. I got this new curler from TJ Maxx. And I really wanted one that had these little things on it because I've had my, who was this by? This Tweezer Man one forever. And I think it's just not doing the job. But this one also is not doing the job. So I feel like I still need another one. Yeah, they don't, doesn't really do much. Let's do my Tweezer Man one. Yeah, crazy, but it just, I want the little, these things. Yeah, much better. I haven't put eye cream on today. I've been using that L'Oreal Hyaluronic Acid Eye Serum, which I really, really like. I'm actually almost out of it. I don't go through products so fast because I use so many different ones, so I know I really like it. I'm going to let that sit for a moment. You gotta let all these things kind of melt into the skin before you layer or you just start pilling and I sometimes am just so fast at doing things that that happens to me a lot and then everything's ruined so I'm gonna let that sit for a second. But oh yeah this is the creamy eye treatment with avocado by Kiehl's. I really like to use this during the day. It's thick but it you know dries down fast. It's really nice and it's lasted me a long time and it just smells clean. I don't think you can go wrong with Kiehl's products. Okay and because my eyes, my under eyes have been so like crepey and weird, I'm also going to put the vitamin enriched eye base on by Bobbi Brown. And I only really add this if my eyes are acting up. Or if I'm doing like a real full glam makeup look. And lately I really haven't. It's been more soft and hydrating and not as super put together. Just because I work from home, I don't go a lot of places. I miss doing that, of course, but you know, I don't just put on a whole face to run errands. Which there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just a little lazy. And now for my base, I'm going to use the Revision Skincare IntelliShade Original Anti-Aging Tinted Moisturizer, which is what I've been grabbing lately. Either this or Woe Glow or them together. But you have to use your SPF, of course. And I put this on with my hands. I just think it does a better application. Just because it's like a moisturizer. And it heats up with your hands really well. Don't forget to get your neck. And it just evens me out a bit. And it just, it keeps my skin looking this hydrated all day. It's a little thicker. And it has SPF 45, which is very important. And I bet we'll sit outside today. My sister has a really nice little outside area to hang out in. But my grandma has really bad allergies, so 
we might not be able to do that, but we will see. See, look how pretty that is. It's glowy and I just, I feel good using it because it's anti-aging as well. And it's another layer of moisturizer because I already use moisturizer and I use the concentrate embryo stuff and then I use this. So lock it in and it's pretty good for the day. I'm not liking the way makeup really looks on my under eyes lately, so I'm just going to use a tiny bit of the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury, and this is in Too Fair. I'm just going to do it right here on the inner corner because when I put it here, it just hasn't been looking good. And I've been taking care of my under eyes, but I don't know. I don't know what to do. But this just brightens up. It's pretty sheer. And that's enough for me kind of right now. Between the moisturizer and this, it just evens things out and it cancels out the redness I have in this eye area. See? Brighter, even, and don't need to do too much. But I'm going to kind of spot conceal my little blemishes and scarring with my Studio Fix little palette. Just a fluffy brush, really light hand, not a lot of product on the brush. And this is just has that natural pretty look to it that your spot concealing, you use a tint of moisturizer all over the face, you know, conceal your under eyes and then spot conceal everything else. You want more coverage and it's just a really natural look to the skin, especially you know, spring and summer, we don't want to wear a lot on our face because it just gets so hot. So this is just light and pretty. And also really hydrating. Looks glowy and nice. Perfect. This little palette. If you don't have this yet, get it in your color. It's amazing. I'm going to bronze a little bit with my Butter Glow bronzer just because it's not super heavy in the liquid. And I put it on my trusty little Timu, whatever this is, oh, palette. I always forget what it's called. And Timu is just the best. And I'm just going to get it evenly all over the brush. And then just kind of stipple. Oh, the smell of this just makes you want to be on vacation. Everybody's obsessed with the butter bronzer again. I mean, they were getting obsessed with it because they've got more product. But since Sophia Richie wore the powder one, everyone's, you know, raving about it again. And that Sophia Richie look where you just look very flawless but it looks like you put no work into it I think that's kind of this look too hydrated pretty fresh skin you know you're not matte you're not overly done I think that's the way to go right now I mean it's not terribly exciting though but it's pretty and I don't it's you know, easy. Because you don't have to use as much product, I think, to get that look. You just have to use the right products. And of course, you know, it's hard when you have problem skin like me or you're pilling and stuff, but it also feels better because you're not putting a lot on your skin. Yeah, that's just, it's so pretty. Easy, light. I probably could have used a little less, but I've been looking really pale lately. And I bought a new, I bought the Coco and Eve. I have the spray that I love that I've talked about, the facial spray, but I bought a foam to self tan with. And I'm excited to use it because my sister used it and it, she said it was like lasting a week and usually my self tan lasts like two days and it's blotchy and terrible. So I'll tell you guys about that soon. 
Just take your time, buff it in, stipple it, don't rub too much. And even pretty bronzed, almost effortless looking skin. Okay. So I'm not gonna powder today actually. I'm just gonna kind of let this sit because just powder on me lately has just not looked the best. And this is all kind of light and whatever, moisturizing, so I'm not going to really do too much. And so I'm going to do a liquid blush, but what liquid blush are we going to do? Okay, I'm going to use a little bit of the Glossier <clears throat> Cloud Paint in Dusk, which is probably my favorite cloud paint because it's pretty nude use a tiny bit because the other day I used a lot of the orange and I had to work with it a bit. Same brush as my bronzer. Just gonna put it on the high points of my cheeks. I might need a little bit more. This color is a little bit more forgiving. But it's just this light peachy nude. It almost gives you like how you would look at in the sun if you got some color. Not like burnt color but like a little tan. It's just really pretty. I'm gonna actually, I'm looking in the real mirror too because the camera can be very forgiving, I think, how things really look. That it can look wonderful here and then I look in the mirror, what, what happened? Okay, a little bit more, yeah, see? These cloud paints are amazing. I've had them, the three I have, I've had for a long time. They last forever because you don't need a lot. And they're so creamy and pigmented. There's no shimmer in them. And they're not super dewy, but they're not flat. Yeah, so pretty. Love, love these. This is my favorite one. Dusk. Then I add the Sunset Blush by Vive in Rosa to sort of Oh, I did too much. Pinch of like rosiness. And these are super dewy, that balm like finish. Yeah, just add a little bit of rosiness, just a tad in that balm looking cheek, which I love just right here. Stippling. Perfect. And I apologize for my background. My makeup room is a full-blown mess. I need to figure out something here. This is just a rack of stupid shoes that I didn't know where to put. Uh, so, again, always just constant work in progress. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of brow gel in. The NYX brow glue, just to keep them in place. And as I've said, I'm still growing them out, so they're wild, and I don't know what to do with them yet, but I just think I'm not done growing them out. I think they need a little bit more time. This one's filling out pretty well. It will need to be shaped, of course, but I need this one to get on board, and then they won't look as crazy, so they're not as manicured as they usually have looked in the past. Nice. Okay. Easy. Curl these lashes again. It's so crazy to see why I make up look like this, but it's nice to try something new. And I'm actually going to use the telescopic lift mascara by L'Oreal that everyone talked about that I actually made fun of myself. But all my mascaras are dried out, but this one at the moment. So we're using it and I'm just going to sit right at the base of my lash and move it a bit just for a little bit of pigment since my lashes aren't very dark right now. And I didn't tight line with the black, so they need a little bit of definition. And we're done. That's it. That's all. 
I might actually brush them out so they look less spidery, just fluffy and pretty. Because they make a ton of noise. Just with a clean spoolie from Amazon, which I I have these. I've had I always have these in stock. In stock. <laughs> I always have these on hand. These are the best. I actually used to steal them from work all the time. Whenever I worked at Bare Minerals, I would take a packet. That's probably not something I should say, but I love just these throwaway spoolies. For this, for your eyebrows, for exfoliating your lips, even though you probably shouldn't do that, but. And my hair is dirty. It's just, you're getting like a, a very non put together Rebecca today. <laughs> Oh, I finally got another one of the Rare Beauty Tinted Lip Oils. The one I wanted was back in stock, so I grabbed it. Um, and this is Honesty. I have Serenity, but it's a little too pink for me. I mean, I like it, but it's not, you know, ideal. This is ideal. And I grabbed it. Once they come back, like all of them get back in stock, I'm going to grab more just because the formula is just... Perfect. It's it's my favorite lip product I think ever because it's moisturizing. And it stains and I love a stain, so it's just like a one-stop shop. I can just use this. You can even overline with it if you want it because it will leave that stain. But this color is like nude, but still has a little bit of that like brown terracotta color I love so it doesn't wash me out and it's comfortable I don't know these this is just so innovative it's the best product I want them to come out with more colors and I want them all to get restocked because I absolutely I can't I love 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 this product Rare Beauty has just created so many amazing things this year and things that I will use forever so there we go with that didn't want to do it too much of a you know a structured lip just because this is a very light look today and it's Mother's Day and we're just sitting outside just hanging out this is so dewy and I didn't put any powder on it. I'm going to spray with all lighter just to set that. Oh, let that dry and I'm going to put some clothes on. Okay, I'm dressed. I was going to look somewhat cute, but I really wanted to wear my buddy's mom's sweatshirt because it's Mother's Day. Um, so yeah, sweatshirt, just cozy, comfy, put together. I guess. <laughs> um, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this chaotic video with me today. Um, this is just a very subtle look for me. Dewy, pretty skin, easy, fast, but you're, you're put together, which is nice. And my skin is super dewy and in real light, it actually doesn't look too crazy. So, alrighty. Thank you again. And please subscribe, like, comment, and have a great Mother's Day for your mother. And if you're not, enjoy the day anyways because you deserve it. And I will see you next week. Bye.